All right, today's episode, first, we're going to get into some entertainment, and then we're going to get into some politics, yeah. But first, y'all have never seen a man this dumb before. I'm telling you, this man brain is cuckoo fried. We got to get into this politics to see what's going on today, because our brains are fried. Let's get into it. Corey Harris. I'm at the on behalf of Pittsfield Township. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Kate for Mr. Harris, who should be present in Zoom. Mr. Hello. Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Hey. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Look at the judge's face. The judge said, great. What the hell is going on? So you mean to tell me this man is driving on a suspended license? And he got the balls and the cojones to go online and show that he's driving. Hey, man, judge, check this out. I know my license is suspended, but I'm going to drive on anyways. Bumpy. Had to get to the doctor appointment. It was a life or death situation. You'll understand judge, right, judge? Wrong, nigga. Your ass going to jail. You're stationary? I'm pulling in right now at this second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. Okay. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended? That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Look at his Negro face. Look at his Negro face. Oh. Oh. Come on, bro. I don't know if this dude is chasing clout. I don't know. Y'all think he's chasing clout? Y'all think he's like, man, I got to go viral. I got to go viral to get this bail money because, uh, damn, it ain't looking too good for me. So I'm going to go ahead. I know I ain't supposed to be driving without no drive license. I mean, I know my license suspended. I know I ain't supposed to be driving. But I know this is going to go viral, though. And everybody going to call me stupid or dumb. Dumb. Man, I don't know. Or is this dude brain literally fried? Too much, too much of that, too much of that sewer water he been drinking. Too much McDonald's he been eating. We don't know. We we don't know. Uh, is with the charges, Your Honor. Yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. I'm trying to tell you, look at the judge. He can't believe this. He's like, this dude either got to be slow, retarded, or mentally unstable. Something got to be wrong with this dude to show up driving and he know his license is been. Something got to be wrong. Something. It's something in the water he drinking or it's something in the food he eating. The brain is malfunctioning. The brain can't comprehend things correctly. Um. Um. Hello? One minute, Mr. Harris. This is the moment Corey Harris knew he done fucked up. Corey Harris, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, Corey Harris. Your bond is about to get re 
he revoked. And you about to go sit your ass down in, in a jail cell, sir. With your dumb ass. Lord have mercy. I ain't never knew people was this dumb. I don't even know why he would do that. So defendant's bond is need. revoked in this matter. Defendant is turning himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, that's when Corey Harris knew he done fucked up. Oh, man. Damn. Why did I just do that? Am I not just... I'm just stupid. I'm dumb. Oh, Jesus. But I went viral, though. I went viral. I'm going to leave my, my family off a little bit. TikTok and Instagram money. I done went viral, though. With your dumb ass. Ooh, I, would hate to, I would hate to have a father like this. This dumb. This dumb. Anyway, now we're going to... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I thank y'all for tuning in with me. But we're going to get into some juicy politics now. Stay tuned for the next episode. All right. Uh, meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is set to make a stop in the South Bronx tonight at 6 o'clock, right on the doorstep of AOC's district, where no Republican presidential candidate has won that district in 100 years. Thousands of supporters are expected to turn out as a new Siena poll has the former president now within single digits of President Biden in the Empire State. Left-wing demonstrations are already being planned to try and counter the former president's visit, like that poster that you see right there, seen circulating on social media, claiming that Trump is, quote, not welcome in the Bronx. Well, somebody who is welcome in the Bronx is Rachel Campos Duffy. <laughs> you know her from The Weekend Show, and she was out in the Bronx yesterday just essentially uh, taking the temperature of the neighborhood to see how people are going to re receive former president. Absolutely. I stood on a corner, walked up and down a street with our, our, our crew and just talked to dozens of people. Is it similar to Wisconsin where you came from? <laughs> I'm an Arizona girl originally. Okay, so, good. You know. um, listen, here's what was interesting. I mean, there's no question that the Bronx is a solidly blue area. Um, but when things get bad, people are more loyal to their neighborhood. They're more loyal to their family. And that's what the sense that I got. There's also a pride in the Bronx, you know. Uh, I know AOC said, you know, Donald Trump, you know, it's 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 in bump AOC, AOC to run the block. I mean, AOC to run Bronx. What AOC? What what is AOC words? You won't even catch AOC in the Bronx, but she's telling President Trump to not come in the Bronx. AOC, this is spook talking to you. You don't run the Bronx. You don't even set foot in the Bronx, AOC. So go sit your trifling ass down. And let a new king come upon here and run the Bronx. And that new king is Trump. Yeah. It's time to remove this illiterate, brain fried, always on vacation, catching the tan ass president out. He ain't doing nothing for the country. The country's in turmoil. Remember, this is Biden. The same man that was caught giving illegal immigrants. A one-way ticket into America. Come on. Wake up, America. Or are y'all just slow? Embarrassment that he has to go to the Bronx, you know? These people took that offensively. Right. They're happy he's coming down. Um, they want him to see what's going on. They want him to, 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 to get a temperature. And that's the thing. You're seeing these polls that show Hispanics and African Americans moving towards Trump. It just feels like data. Right. You go into this, you go there, you actually talk to the people. Um, it really brings it home. You really feel that the polls are right. And I think Donald Trump is going to be very pleasantly surprised by how welcomed he is in, in, in the South Bronx. Take a look. I see Democrats now coming out and they're like, oh, Trump is not welcome here. Who are you? I think he should definitely come to the neighborhood. He should come. He should check out the people because, see, Trump is for the little man. Donald Trump is coming to the Bronx. Are the other boroughs going to be jealous? I don't know, but I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Trump is doing something that no one else did, has done. He's uh, giving 
such a respect to the Bronx. The, the, before Trump, you know, it was it was not too it was not really considered. Like, would they really go into the Democratic uh, strongholds? Would they really go into the poor neighborhoods? One of the very important things that that I wish the Republicans would understand is that. Even though you have, and you look at the registers and you see how many registered Democrats are in the Bronx and you say 80, 90% are all Democrats, not all Democrats vote Democrat. I happen to be one of those Democrats that hasn't voted Democrat since the age of Ronald Reagan. I've been intrigued by the impact of the trial of Donald Trump. And, and as a Hispanic myself, it looks familiar to a lot of things we've seen. Um, in Latin America. Absolutely. I know a lot of friends of mine that are Cuban and they're, oh, they're frustrated. Yeah. Cubans, you got Nicaraguans, you got, they see this in their country. That's why they left. I happen to be one that I, I'm still asking, what is he being charged with? What, what is he being charged with? I'm still trying to figure that out. Ma'am, we all trying to figure that out. What is he being charged with? I'm trying, if, 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 what is this, Fox News? If Fox News, you can help me out. And let's get to the bottom of this investigation and close this investigation down. And let's all figure out, what is he being charged for? Hmm? Because the, uh, the audacity of Biden, Biden should be in prison for life right now. Yes. He's already betrayed the American people. Yeah. That's the death penalty right there. You can't betray your own country like that. And sell it out to the Chinese and sell it out to the illegal immigration. Nah, you can't do that. Buddy, that uh-uh, buddy. You're gonna have to go. Go forever, be gone. Out. And so I think it's not just me, because you know, we're not dummies, okay? <laughs> Uh, even though Democrats sometimes treat us like we're dummies. People that weren't interested in politics, now they're watching a sham trial. They're, they're watching all these things happen, and they're, they're just like, what is going on? That is good. Rachel, I, I know a number of New Yorkers appreciate Donald Trump because he's a New Yorker. And yeah. Even though he now lives yeah. in Florida. But he understands what it's like to be in New York City. Yeah, they feel like he's one of them. And he chose their area, their neighborhood, to come visit. And, um, you know, you, you see all the organizers out there putting up posters saying, you're not welcome here, Donald Trump. I did not get one ounce of that mm -hmm. from when I was down there. I was... Right, because that's Biden and them goddamn blue boys going around New York posting them posters talking about Donald Trump and welcome. But the people sp have spoken. Yes. The people have spoken. And we ain't gonna listen to those one or two drifters. No. We're going to listen to the people because when the people speak, that's what they really want. They want Trump in, Trump is going to go in. They don't want Trump there, Trump won't be able to go in there. But the people said, let Trump come and get this disasterful, no good, nothing of a president Biden out of here. Quickly and swiftly. And throw a couple of charges on him too. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to conclude this story. Entertainment and politics. We got to start getting into these things, these categories, for real. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in with Spook. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Salute to y'all for tuning in.